Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Simply Orcas, etc. I hope everyone is doing well on this fine Friday afternoon, evening, whichever you are watching this at. Uh, today, I want to just sh share with you guys with um, these three orchids here. Um, I, you know, you guys probably don't see this particular orchid that often. That's why I have decided to go ahead and do a little update, especially these two here. Um, my Dendrobium, um, Dendrobium shitsii and this No ID Dendrobium. Um, this one here, um, I have it since December of this year, so it hasn't been quite a year yet. But I have decided to keep this one, and her cane is still green, as you can see. And she does have roots <laughs> in there, and that bark chips. Um, but I haven't seen any sign of... Um, root uh root um growth yet growth you know in particular cane growth so i'm still hoping that maybe she's just growing rather slow and you know a lot of orchids are slow grower and you know um one of the number one thing about growing orchids you have to have a lot of patient and you can't rush them to to grow overnight or a few days, weeks, or months. It takes them sometime a year or two before you even see any sign of growth at all. Um, probably this, that's probably what's gonna happen with this is probably I won't see any growth at all for another six months to a year probably because it's a slow growing. But I've been treating her with um, cow mag and seaweed extract for, um, since last year actually and I do treat her um, I do give her that every other watering along with regular fertilizing so I'm just hoping since she's still giving me that sign of green um, cane and also still have uh, some viable roots in there I'm hoping she'll go ahead and give me some type of growth soon <laughs> But anyway, yeah, I think she's still doing okay. I just have to give her more time and let her do her thing, basically. So that's her. And then um, this one is supposed to be a white flower. Um, that's the tag that she came along with. And by the way, this was one of <laughs> my freebie from my um, from the. Um, from my order last December when I ordered my um, two um, Vandas that I ordered through Amazon and which um, I should have put them along with this group here but I'll give you guys an update on that another on another video but anyway yeah she's supposed to be a white flower as well um, this one is my Dendrobium Shetsii and this along with this when I did a spotlight on possibly my orchids are dying. So if you guys want to check out that video, go ahead and check it out. But this one, I was almost certain that she was a goner actually. Because a lot of her roots was desiccated and, you know, she gave me a sign of, you know, her a lot of her canes were um, shriveling up. But... Luckily, when I unpotted her a few months ago, I did see, um, you know, viable roots. And look, you guys, she has decided to go ahead and bless me with new growth. So I am so thrilled that I have, you know, I don't have to um, replace her. So I'm so happy because I did um, find her in a couple of um, um, nursery um, vendor. One was um, Brookside Orchids, but they no longer um, have her or maybe they're sold out. And then as recently, I seen her on Orchid Web. I was gonna order her, but um, I decided not to since she's um, showing me that she's holding her own. 
um, because I recently purchased um, a Lelia Kautia Dinard Blue Hawaiian from them and she was expensive by herself already so I decided not to go ahead and get another one of this so yeah I'm so happy that she is doing really well and hopefully she'll give me more growth uh, this coming spring and this is a very slow grower as well I mean slower I mean faster than that one over there but you know within five, you know within a few months she did show um you know she did give me um growth but you know within six months she is growing pretty fast now that it's winter probably she's gonna slow down but it don't matter to me as long as she gave me some new growth uh at least one growth but I've been treating her um, like the other one I've been treating her with seaweed extract and then CalMag every other watering as well and then um, regular fertilize right now I'm only giving them fertilizing once a month right now because it's winter and you know they're um, growing slow right now but I still give them seaweed extract and CalMag um, Every other watering still so yeah I'm really thrilled that she gave me a growth but um, this one here you guys probably haven't seen her since this past December when I did unbox her and I purchased her through Amazon which oh my goodness she was an expensive one as well I wish um, I waited a little bit longer to purchase something like this because I just recently seen because um, Andy's orchids they're they're selling these I think when did I see it um, a few weeks ago she um, he's selling it for um, ten dollars of course they're probably you know not mature but you know maybe seedlings but ten dollars I'm willing to pay ten dollars this one I paid like 40 bucks for this and it was if you seen the unboxing it was pretty small and this is a four inch pot this is the original pot that it did come in but yeah she look how big she is now though and um, she looks a little wonky because the way she's positioned in my shelf right now and I guess I need to position her where she can reach the Sun basically but yeah this is one of my jewel orchid and i will be repotting her this spring as well and i did buy a, a shallow um, pot for the for, you know for her to be repotted in and this one guess what you guys you can actually use soil you know regular soil not bark or leca or you know these other um pot of media that you guys choose to use but yeah she's in soil right now I have her I have um I have these little bees that I put in there it, it was white but now is brown <laughs> I don't know what happened I guess it's maybe it's dirty I don't know but anyway I'm not gonna buy these type of beads anymore well if i do buy it it's gonna be brown not white because it's no longer white but anyway and this one here it came with another plant right here i don't know if she's related to her or not but she's you know growing alongside with her as well and i love the coloring of her leaves is she has that purplish maroon and then the striping on there if you um, if it hits the Sun um, a certain way you can actually see the shimmering is so pretty but anyway I can't wait for this one to um, actually give me flowers and like I um, I don't know if I mentioned I'm not sure she's a blooming size yet maybe another year or so I can wait because her foliage is beautiful anyway so yeah that's one of the reasons why i purchased this one there's two other jewel orchids i want to get but hopefully maybe andy's orchids that one they'll sell it for cheap as well and i'll definitely get a couple but anyway 
um yeah go ahead and check them out they're ten dollars i don't know if they're still on sale or not but i seen it like three weeks ago but yeah anyway um i think that's it for now you guys um i just wanted to give you guys a look at my orchids that you guys haven't seen in a while give you a little bit update on them but anyway i hope you guys have a wonderful weekend um be kind to one another and as always, happy growing, everyone. Bye for now.